some people think that everything started the 7th of October and it didn't it didn't, the Nakba is a genocidal project that has started almost 100 years ago there are over 530 villages that have existed and the Zionist has just demolished them completely. Um, an interesting application I would recommend people is I Return, which used to be I Nakba. I Return is a phone application where you can scroll and and find out about those villages. A book that was very significant in my life is a book that was published in uh, 92 and it's all that remains it was edited by Walid Halidi before the time of the internet it's also I think, 518 villages information and statistics how many schools how many children where they are and what remains there is also the website Palestine Remembered put all the links there which is also a website highly recommended if you want to find out find out about Palestine before Zionism some of those villages were resettled by the Zionists but most of them weren't they're were just they are still there only demolished and very often the only way you know that you are passing by a village is finding those lines of of kakti which is because the Palestinians have used the kakti fruit planting them instead of fences they are hard the, um, and animals cannot cross where you have them and they have delicious fruits one of the best so it became a symbol because when when you're traveling when you're passing and you see a line of those those cactus sometimes people go down to pick the fruits and it's a sign that there are remains of a village somewhere there and there are people waiting for return home and the village is there Today I went to look for cacti fruit. It's a different cacti. It's a different fruit. Not as delicious, but it's quite good. And I was looking for it so that I will have good organic fruits to eat at the end of the fast, when I finish the fast. As today, is the last day where I could have gone of such adventure. Tonight will be the last time I will eat or drink until for the next 11 days. I'm saying 11 days, that's, that's the goal. But having said that, if I will need to break the fast after 10 days or 9 days, I will do that. It is not a challenge. It is not. I am not putting my health at risk. It's, I'm being monitored and guided. And I've done it before. So this is very, very safe for what I'm doing.
Oh, one, one, one. This is so exciting. Just for finding one, not because it's going to help me in any way. But at least we found one. It's not exactly the after fast meal that I was thinking of. I'm sorry that I, I don't see what I'm actually filming. So I am really, really sorry for the quality. Here it is. That's my finger. So I'm getting close. <laughs> I can see my hair. Yay! <laughs> Yay, baby. Come. So there is hope still. We found one. Whoop. It's open. Look how gorgeous it is. It doesn't have any spines on the outside. And on the inside, it's white. And every, it's like sperms. Every, you don't see it now. You see it when it's more mature. Every seed has a white tail. And it, it, it's like it's all in spirals there so when they get more mature and dry they just explode <laughs> and Opa! and every seed flies here you see them see? every seed has a white tail and when it explodes they fly away and find a home and give birth to a new cactus Obviously, I will eat this one now because, yeah, well, <laughs> well, I'm so happy that I found one. Maybe, maybe that means there are more, and it's even a, it's like a fresh one. It's not. I'm, I'm sorry for the picture quality because I cannot see what I'm doing with the camera. The screen doesn't work. Look how gorgeous it is, and you can also eat the red one, the peel. It's not extremely tasty. But it's it's healthy so that gave me hope I'll keep looking